The Diamondbacks and the Indians in Cleveland open up a short two-game set in the form of a traditional doubleheader after Tuesday's scheduled opener was postponed after a lengthy rain delay. Fidel Nuno, who's drafted by Cleveland, sharp early on in the second. Carlos Santana down swinging. Jan Gomes, a similar fate. And then Ryan Rayburn to end the frame. Nuno with five strikeouts in the first two innings. Bottom of the third, Tyler Holt making his first major league start. And this, his first big league hit, a single up the middle. And yes, Holt would get to keep the baseball, but Cleveland would not score in the frame. Trevor Bauer making his first start against the team that drafted him. In the fourth, he strikes out David Peralta to finish off the fourth. And then Aaron Hill down on strikes to end the fifth inning. Move to the sixth. Bauer still hasn't allowed a hit, but Xavier Paul breaks up the no-hit bid with a single in the right, placing runners on the corners. The next batter, Jordan Pacheco, grounds into a 6-4-3 double play, but Jake Lamb does score, and the Diamondbacks take a 1-0 lead. Bottom half of the frame, Michael Brantley up with two runners in scoring position. A swing and a bouncing ball toward the second baseman. Diving his hill, it kicks off his glove, goes into right field for a base hit. Walters will score, Kipnis will score, and the Indians take the lead. WTAM on the call, Cleveland up 2-1. to one. Top of the eighth, now tied up at two. Ender Inciarte lines out the first. That would end Bauer's night. He goes a career-high eight innings with four hits, two earned runs, and nine strikeouts. Still tied up at two in the bottom of the ninth, Randall Delgado versus recent trade acquisition, Zach Walters. The pitch swung on, hit pretty well to right. This ball's got a chance. It is gone! It's a game-winning walk-off home run for Zach Walters, and he's going to get his first home plate mobbing at Progressive Field. How about that? Once again, WTAM on the call. The Indians win game one of the traditional doubleheader 3-2 thanks to Walters' first career walk-off homer and his first long ball in an Indians uniform. Cleveland now has eight walk-off victories this season. Trevor Bauer takes a no decision after a career-high eight strong innings against his former team.